Good evening all. Welcome to this new session. We will try to see ultrasound of superficial soft tissue masses which are very important and we routinely encounter in our day to day practice. The classification can be divided into congenital, vascular, neurogenic, neoplastic, traumatic, infective and miscellaneous. So this is the reporting format. Uh, pause the slide and see all the findings we have to mention and impression we have to give and a further recommended test to kind of con come to a conclusion. This is the ultrasound of superficial soft tissue masses from this which I have taken this reference and few other slides. So coming to the first case, you can see there is a well-defined oval shaped hypoechoic lesion noted in the subcutaneous tissues and clearly you can see there is a nerve entering and exiting through this mass lesion. So this is a classical case of peripheral nerve sheet tumor and also you can see there is a ecogenic cap like structure noted on either side of, either side of the or tip of the lesions. So this is the video where you can see this is the video. So whenever you see a well-defined hypoechoic lesion with nerve seen entering and exiting through the lesion which is nothing but the tail sign and ecogenic cap like structure on either side of the lesion which is nothing but the uh, split fat sign but uh, I have coined, coined a new term because you can see this ecogenic cap like structure on either side of the lesion typically mimics the sclera with central lesion mimicking the eyeball so I have given the nomenclature as eyeball sign and eyeball appearance on, for peripheral nerve sheet tumors and other uh, split tails, split fits, split fat sign and tail sign which I have already mentioned. The split fat sign is classically seen on MR uh, where you can see the hyper intense fat on either side of the lesion especially on T1 weighted images. So this is a nothing but commonly peripheral nerve sheet tumors. Common is neurofibroma and schwannoma. Schwannoma has a better prognosis because the we can see the mass lesion uh, ad adhering to the nerve and the nerve is seen periphery to the lesion so that it can be resected completely and there is good prognosis. Whereas in neurofibroma the now passes through the completely through the lesion so that we have need a wide dissection and reconstruction so this is another case where you can see multiple neurofibromas along with intracanal schwannomas and dependymomas and meningioma this was a case of nf2 next uh, this is other case where you can see there is a soft tissue mass lesion noted in the neck and you can see this typically showing a well-defined hypoechoic lesion with multiple uh, low-level echoes, medium to low-level echoes, which are mimicking a testis. So whenever you see a soft tissue mass lesion with typical pseudo testis appearance, definitely suspect epidermal cyst or epidermal inclusion cyst. Other uh, classical imaging features can be it can have multiple low to medium level echoes, it can have linear ecogenic or anechoic depris and even it can have a dermal attachment or focal dermal protrusion which is nothing but and sometimes concentric ring or target appearance. So whenever you see a well defined ecogenic lesion with pseudo testis appearance definitely suspect epidermal inclusion cyst as the DD. Next, these are other ultrasound superficial soft tissue masses. Here you can see there is an ecogenic lesion uh, noted in the subcutaneous tissues with multiple parallel ecogenic, stri ecogenic striations running parallel to the skin surface. This is a case of lipoma. Here also you can see there is a well-defined hypoechoic lesion with focal protrusion towards the dermis. So this is nothing but whenever you see a focal dermal protrusion or dermal attachment, one of the common differential is epidermal inclusion cyst. This other cystic lesion noted in the uh, uh, noted in the neck, especially in the f floor of the mouth. Uh, so whenever you see cystic lesions uh, in the floor of the mouth or neck region with multiple ecogenic uh, ball-like structures noted within it, giving the sac of marble appearance. So this is a case of dermoid cyst. So these are the common superficial soft tissue masses. Next here you can see there is a uh, diffuse soft tissue calcification on radiograph and also you can see a ovoid complex mass which is showing calcification at the junction of dermis and subcutaneous fat with focal thinning of the overlying dermis. So this is a classical case of pilometricoma. So whenever you see extensive dense soft tissue calcifications along with uh, ovoid complex uh, masses with classic classical calcifications suspect pilometricoma. Uh, next here you can see there is a soft tissue swelling on the medial aspect of the foot and you can see this, uh, this cystic lesion or fluid collection like mass lesion is in close proximity with of the tendon. So this was a case of uh, ganglion cyst. So whenever the point to remember is whenever you see unilocular, multilocular, round to or lobular fluid containing uh, cystic lesions close to the joint space or close to the tendon sheath definitely suspect ganglion cyst. 
this is other case where you can see there is a soft tissue swelling over the dorsum of the foot and here you can see there are multiple dot in circle appearance so multiple dot like echogenic structures and central hypoechoic dot is also there within the echogenic uh, circles so this is classical dot in circle appearance where the central echogenic circle is nothing but the echogenic granulation tissue central hypointense dot is nothing but the fungal element and surrounding both these structures there is a peripheral hypointense rim called as hypoechoic fibrous septa so whenever you see soft tissue swelling long standing soft tissue swelling with discharging sinuses and this dot in circle appearance in the superficial soft tissues one of the common differential you can consider is mucor madramycosis uh, so this is a classical dot in circle sign in madramycosis next here you can see there are different type of swellings one is swelling in the cheek other one in the left eyelid so whenever you see a cystic lesion with echogenic nodular structure which is seen projecting from the wall into the lumen uh, definitely suspect myocystisarcosis so this is other case where three year old male child with right shoulder swelling where you can see there is a cystic lesion with multiple septae and on color doppler there is no vascularity so this is a cl classical case of lymphangioma next here you can see there is a hypoechoic lesion noted in the anteroabdominal wall with a linear hypoechoic tail like extension and color doppler there is raised vascularity and here this other case where you can see there is a hypoechoic lesion with linear facial tail like extension which is classically depicted on mri as hyperintense lesion so whenever you see a hypoechoic lesion with raised vascularity and color doppler and linear tail like extension one of the common differential can be desmoid so this is a case of desmoid and more, there is an increased risk of desmoid tumors during pregnancy many tumors may shrink after pregnancy and 50% may respond to tamoxifen so desmoid fibromatosis can also present with uh, signs like uh, facial tail sign and staghorn staghorn signs so other common differential for desmoid is care endometriosis so this is 35 year female with previous uh, two lses presents with tenderness over the scar and cyclical pain and tenderness on ultrasound you can see there is a hypoechoic mass with cystic areas showing raised vascularity typically noted in the right uh, rectus abdominis muscle at the site of scar site so this is a, is a classical case of scar endometriosis so these are the co common differential uh, the desmoid and scar endometriosis are common differentials for anteroabdominal masses along with hematomas and others so this is also other case where you can see this was a case of trauma there is a hypoechoic lesion with central necrosis and sometimes there can be pseudo cyst like appearance or pseudo nodule like appearance so whenever you see these type of lesions this is a classical case of fat necrosis so key point is an ultrasound whenever you see hypoechoic masses with pseudo cyst formation pseudo nodule formation fluid fluid levels or fluid debris level one of the differential is fat necrosis especially in the setting of trauma next these are other superficial soft tissue masses vascular masses there is a echogenic mass with raised vascularity showing spectral doppler pattern so this was a case of hemangioma and this after catheterization you can see this is the radial artery there is outpouching like structure with echos showing yin yang pattern this was a case of aneurysm and here this is soft tissue mass with multiple bag of appearance showing raised vascularity showing both arterial and venous form this is at av malformation so these are the common vascular malformations vascular soft tissue masses other soft tissue masses can be lymphadenopathy and even sometimes neoplastic masses and sometimes pseudo masses so pseudo masses can be bursitis abscess foreign bodies and hematomas lymph nodes commonly we can see reactive lymph nodes and if there are multiple lymph nodes with caseous necrosis and matting we can suspect infective or tuberculosis and if there is loss of hilum cystic necrosis calcifications uh, thickening of the cortex with raised vascularity suspect metastatic disease other classical neoplasms can be sarcomas melanomas and all which are appears in the skin and subcutaneous tissues next what are oops lesions oops lesions are soft tissue masses that uh, reveal a finding that contradicts the initial ultrasound interpretation leading to a sense of surprise or embarrassment for the radiologist so examples can be malignant tumors appearing benign benign tumors appearing malignancy incorrect identification of benign conditions on soft tissue pseudomatous tumors so whenever the you see a oops like lesion and the whatever the points which favor malignancy so the points which favor malignancy are whenever the size of the lesion is greater than 5 cm deep location in relation to investing Asia, sudden onset or rapid growth, firm consistency to the muscle, and adherence to the surrounding structures, and even sometimes facial edema, skin thickening, hemorrhage can be seen, 
and uh, angle between the mass and the fascia if there is obtuse angles and infiltration into the fascia definitely suspect malignancies so this is the classification where you can see group 1 group 2 group 3 group 4 group 5 group 1 there is no minimal there is no facial contact group 2 there is minimal facial contact group 3 is borderline group 4 is having a contact with the fascia with obtuse angles and group 5 there is complete infiltration over the fascia so 4 and 5 are malignant whereas 1 and 2 are benign and 3 is borderline so these are ones of the oops lesions so these are the common varying imaging spectrum of soft tissue masses which can be useful for our routine practice uh, those who I have already told that uh, subscriptions have started those who have taken the spotter subscription can uh, mail their numbers uh, then uh, give their mobile numbers to my number that is uh, I have mentioned here and I will uh, soon start the um, uh, OSCE and uh, complete radiology dhamaka subscription sure after in July Thank you all.